Hey guys, it's Koo here. So we're going to do a comparison on this game real fast, because this game's been getting a lot of hate lately, and I really don't see the reason why. So I'm going to show you base, because everybody believes this game is pay to win, or microtransactions. Now, you can see my base stats right here. Beware, this is before. Most of that is before I actually used the in-game currency. You notice the SV points. The SV points are absolutely pointless. I'm going to show you all the items I have here. These are items you can get in the game without cheating. You, well, as you call it with SV points. The game is totally not fucking pay to win. As you can see here, all this stuff was gotten without the pay to win factor of the game that everybody insists is in the game. There's no pay to win in this game. All this stuff was legitimately got. Nothing was bought with SV coins. Everybody's pointing out a microtransaction for a save slot in the game. If you actually bothered to play this game, there's no slave slot needed. And then again, when you think about it, you should be more mad at the fact. No, wait, no, here we go. Let's take a, take a look at the base camp here. I'm going to show you off my guns. All this was got in game. No pay to win aspect here. The only thing you can even bother using SV coins on is the drill right there. I used the SV coins on the drill to speed up the process to check if it was any form of game breaking. The only thing you get out of it is a Gatling gun turret, which is no big whoop. The in-game currency in the game, they give you about 50 to 30, sometimes even the 50 and 30 at the same time. And it makes no difference, because you can speed your drill up when it hits the 5 hour mark to catch the guys who actually spend some cash. If you pay in this game, you're only going to get about maybe three days ahead of another player, which, in all reality, is no actual big fucking deal. Because, unless the guy is, like, filthy fucking rich, then he could most likely get ahead of you completely. I'm talking about you're spending about $2,000 here into this game if you want to be, like, milestones ahead of a person trying to get loot out of the box. And all that is absolutely irrelevant and pointless. Because I've gotten recipes for my research and development team by leveling the tree up, I've gone into the multiplayer portion of the game, and I've gotten recipes for gun turrets, and all sorts of type of shits. The only thing I've unlocked over here, with the drill, which would be considered the part of the game that is pay to win, would be a few building aspects that you can get just by waiting patiently throughout the game as the time goes on. For fuck's sake. If you go into multiplayer, there's no point behind it. If you use the, the EXP boost, they give out plenty of EXP boosts, you can see right here, here are my stats about the EXP boost. The 300, I mean the 3 million you're seeing down there, I just got today using the EXP boost, and I didn't even use it. I, I fucking just fell asleep, and there was maintenance today anyway. But, as you can see, there's nothing actually game breaking about here. You see that? All right there, you see that time limit in the upper left hand corner? Like 24 hour period? If you spend cash on that, you're spending about 300 SV points, which is about $3. If you're that, want to get ahead of people, then I guess you could do that for the pay to win aspect. Like, if you want to be the guy to complain about it, you could probably spend like $20 on that, but it would be absolutely pointless because you could get most of the loot from the drill off of the world boss. If you don't know how to spawn the world boss, just go lay down in your bed and make your avatar sleep. Because I noticed whenever I hit the 30 day marker, it reset the world boss. Like, it actually just reset them completely. So, you can see all this ammo, all this stuff, all this stuff you can get online. You see all those purples? None of them were got from the drill. They were all got online. I never got one weapon from my drill so far. Just building aspects for the base. Like, that's it. Ammunition, all this stuff. Most of the ammo you're looking in there, it's already there. I'd go and show my resource tab off, you know, that I got from not paying, and you really would see, like, about maybe 3,000 of each resource, except for gunpowder, where I think I only have, like, 600. Wood is 600. My lead count is exactly 80 because I make nothing but bullets at the time. There's no support team there, as you can see. Like, I really don't understand how the game is pay to win when microtransactions aren't actually needed for this game. And when you think about it, you should actually be mad at the fact that there's one microtransaction for a uh, save slot <clears throat> in a survival game. Excuse me. So, everybody's getting mad at a save slot. A slave slot is completely irrelevant in the survival game. Actually, that's more game-breaking. Nobody's pointing out the fact that that's actually a game-breaking issue. It's a survival game with a save slot, meaning if you suck, you can pay to make another character. Like, if you actually buy the slave slot, you just suck. Seriously. You suck. 